Well, the win for us is an MVP interview, so let's throw it over to Jisun for the solo laners interview translation. Thank you very much, guys. This is Jisun with today's last interview translation. SK Telecom, their winning streak never stops. Faker, how was today's game? So we are now starting to face some of the teams in the West side. side. So this was our first one, but it's really a big relief that we were able to get the 2-0 win. I think we were going to do really well in the rest of the split. Especially Genji was having a great momentum, so what kind of strategy did you guys prepare? Not like a strategy, but our team just said that this is a really significant match for us. Especially a great um, timing for us to the reach the higher point. So I think we are now in a better position since we got the 2-0 victory today. The Faker! Your Nika was open for game number one and two, especially a card that is on a fixed and old record since the Rift Rivals. So, do, is SKT prioritizing Nika right now, like first picking it? Well, we were just um, trying some new style in terms of pick and ban, thinking of the Genji's style. So, speaking of Nico. Yeah, it's have a really great engage, engaging skills, so we kind of enjoy uh, playing in it. But Nico is a very difficult champion. How do you think of it? Well, the ultimate? Well, I think it's e not that hard to land. Especially your Pop Blossom is always popping up. Especially the last one in the game number one was amazing, so let's um, have a replay over here. So how did you make that decision to re-engage? So we were thinking of taking down the uh, inhibitor. And after that, I saw the Genji players going a little bit in too much, so I just went in. So that's the pop blossom you mentioned, which is not that hard to land. But Khan, also the follow-up from the teammates was, all, was also awesome. When a player goes in unexpectedly, how does the other players follow up? Well, I mean, all the players have a long career, so we have a very great um, insight to see the game. So especially Faker is really good at like opening fights. So during the fights, we have been used, we are kind of used to it, so we are kind of able to follow up. In game number two, you played Fiora on top lane. So did you feel huge confidence um, with Camille versus Fiora matchup? Well, I've been playing Fiora for a long time. And also, I also enjoy playing Camille versus Fiora matchup. So yeah, it wasn't really a um, hard uh, matchup for me. So we have a replay for your Fiora pulling up some of the super play over here. Yeah, since I saw Cube making some of the aggressive play, I could predict that Peanut will be around the top lane. So you always have to like keep in mind that the enemy can actually back up and like the jungler can always come gank. So you always have to think of the skill sets they have. So we, it's easier for me to like dodge the skills. So after SK Telecom, the players play 1v1. All the other teams are now enjoying it. How was your preparation go today? Well, I did a 1v1 again, but I'm gonna just gonna keep it as a secret. And your next match will be up against Griffin. Griffin also stopped their losing streak today, earlier. We did lose to Griffin in the first round, so I'm just gonna make sure to take them down this time around. And our goal is winning all the matches in the second round robin so to accomplish that goal i'm i'm gonna i'm, I'm gonna try my best to show great performance 
My personal thought is I think Chen Ji and Damon, they are the teams that are having the best performance currently and since we took one of them, I think we are able to kind of lose the burden on our shoulders and also we are keep improving our performance so we're just gonna do our best to keep picking up victories in our, in our remaining series. Yes, their winning streak is still intact, so this will be the end of the interview with Faker, Khan from SK Telecom, and going to pass it back to our casters. Thank you.